The small town of Greenville is home to the best transport company ever. Steady Eddie Enterprises, or SEE, C for short. And it's run by the football mad Steady Eddie, along with his best friends, soul singing celebrity Tina Towers, brother and sister trucks Timo and Tess, and Geordie Train, Points. Steady solves all of Greenville's problems, and everybody in the town loves him. Well, nearly everybody. On the other side of town, Tycoon Terry runs horrid haulage. Terry's always trying to cause trouble for Eddie, forcing his polluting trucks Belcher and long-suffering Smokey to foil Steady Eddie's plans. And today is no exception. Today, the Mayor of Greenville has a very special task for Steady Eddie Enterprises. Every year, Greenville hosts an annual art exhibition, and this year the paintings to be displayed are very old and very, very valuable. Eddie, I need you to bring these paintings to Greenville from all over Europe. It's very important that they're kept safe and remember, this is top secret. Don't worry, my team will take good care of your old masters, or is that masterpieces? Anyway, you can depend on us. Back at Steady Eddie Control Tower, Tina Towers is soon giving instructions to the fleet for their top secret assignment. Ever eager Timo tears north to collect a classic by Vinnie Van Gogh. Tess travels sensibly south to pick up the water chilies by Manuel. Whilst points, the jovial Geordie train zips through the Eurotunnel to the rendezvous with the Moaning Lisa in Paris. Meanwhile, little did Tina and Steady Eddie know, but from the other side of town, Tycoon Terry is keeping a close eye on them using his telescope. Top secret? Ha! <laughs> I'll sneak into Steady Eddie's base tonight in a crate and swap the real paintings with fake ones I have painted. When they realize the paintings are fake, I'll pretend I found the real ones and retire on the reward. <laughs> oh, yeah. The team slowly returns home, storing the crates in a specially secured warehouse. Timo and Tess are put on duty outside by Eddie for the night to protect the precious paintings. Remember not to fall asleep, guys. Steady calls back as he walks away. Late that night, a suspiciously old, loud lorry delivers a large, mysterious box. The box is simply marked Timbuktu. Timo and Tess wake up and rather dozily use their hydraulic platforms to put the box high on top of the other crates. Little do they know, Tycoon Terry is stowed inside, ready to swap the priceless paintings over with his own dastardly fakes. As soon as everybody leaves, Tycoon Terry begins struggling to try and get out of his crate, only to find that it's stuck. Outside, at the dead of night, Timo and Tess are standing guard, shaking violently with their headlights on full beam jumping at the slightest noise. Suddenly, a loud bang rings out from the warehouse behind them. They both jump high into the air. Pro pro probably just a bird, says Timo. Tess nods, but the two huddle closer anyway, their eyes wide. Inside the warehouse, Tycoon Terry's Timbuktu crate has fallen to the floor, with Terry still inside. His broken paintings smashed around him. The next day, Steady Eddie arrives at the warehouse to find Timo and Tess fast asleep. He wakes them up and the team set off with the crates with the real paintings inside, leaving the Timbuktu crate behind. The famous old paintings are hung up on the art gallery walls. The mayor is very excited and pleased with the job Steady Eddie and his crew have done. Meanwhile, Tina Towers investigates the rogue Timbuktu crate in the warehouse, as no one has booked its delivery with SEE. 
she gives the box a tentative little tap or two with her super cool boots, when a weird but oddly familiar wailing noise launches from inside. Mummy! Oh, Terry, says Tina. What on earth have you been up to this time? And by the way, I'm definitely not your mummy. He's steady, steady Eddie. Eddie is a man. He's steady, steady Eddie. Eddie is a man.